At the COP29 conference in Azerbaijan's capital, Baku, countries agreed to an annual finance target of $300 billion to help countries deal with the impact of climate change, with developed countries leading the payment. The new amount will replace the $100 billion figure which was pledged back in 2009. India strongly objected to the finance package, but only after the deal was adopted by consensus. Indian delegation representative Chandni Raina called the climate finance package nothing more than an optical illusion and said that it brings out the unwillingness of the developed countries to fulfill their responsibilities. India received support from Nigeria, Malawi and Bolivia. The $300 billion is a far cry from the $1.3 trillion that was demanded. The figure is in the document, but it calls on all actors, including public and private players, to work together to reach the $1.3 trillion level by 2035. It did not place the responsibility on developed countries. Earlier, the talks were thrown into turmoil after negoci negotiators from the least developed countries, LDC Group and the Alliance of Small Island States, AOSIS, walked out of the meeting of the heads of delegations saying they were being ignored during consultations. But negotiators from AOSIS and LDCs and wealthy nations met later with the COP29 presidency at the closing plenary session. The Azerbaijani head of COP29, Mukhtar Babayev, urged representatives of the countries to bridge their differences. The closing plenary session was marked by protests. Over 100 protesters stood in silence with placards saying stand up and pay up. Colleagues, this is a final stretch. We have all been working very hard over the past two weeks. And I know that none of us want to leave Baku without a good outcome on our key deliverable. The eyes of the world are rather focused on us. However, time is not on our side. And I ask you to now step up your engagement with one another to bridge the remaining divide. 